How to write a program to demonstrate the type casting of basic type to the class type. Hello everyone, I'm Sukanya from GoEdHub Technologies and in this video we are going to discuss about type conversion in C++. In C programming language, when different types of constants and variables are used in expression, C automatically performs type conversion based on some fixed rules. In assignment operation, variable at the right hand side is automatically converted to the type of the variable on the left side. The same can also be possible in C++ programming language. So there are basically three types of possible type conversion and those are conversion from basic type to the class type, conversion from class type to the basic type and conversion from one class type to the another class type. So firstly the conversion from basic to the class type. In this type of conversion the source type is basic type and the destination type is the class type. Means the basic type is converted into the class type. Now conversion from basic type to the class type is following possibly can be done with the help of two methods and those are using constructor or using an operator. Now by with the help of using constructor here you can see that we have taken in consideration an example with class time which we want to assign total time in minutes by integer variable duration and to achieve that we have implemented one constructor function which accept one argument of the integer type as follows. So here you can see that a class time is created and a constructor is called having only one parameter that is time integer t of that variable and then it will be displaying that basic type to the class type conversion and for hours it is divided by 60 and similarly for minutes it is showing the remainder of the modulus division. And then we have used the void time show function for showing the hours and the minutes with the respective cout function. And then in the main we have declared that enter the time duration and that duration will be calculated with the help of duration variable which we have already mentioned in the main function you can see here into duration and then the time is calculated. So the output will be as follows mentioned in the snapshot that the entire uh, the time duration which you have entered in minutes for example 120 so the basic type to the class type conversion is that it is 2 hours 120 minutes is having 2 hours that is sure. Now there is a particular thing to be noted that we have to note that during the type conversion using the constructor we can pass only one argument. We can do two type conversion at the type of initialization only. The next type is if we do not want to do by constructor then how can we do? We can do that by using the operator overloading. Operator overloading concepts we have already discussed in our previous videos but here also we can overload assignment operator for that particular purpose. Above example of time class can be rewritten by type conversion using the operator overloading and the concept here you can see that the operator has been overloaded, there is a void display and the, then we have mentioned hours and minutes we are going to change it and then there is a overloading function here created that a void operator is having in tie and this is the basic type to class type conversion. So the logic of the program is same but what we are using right now here is a operator overloading concept rather than using constructor. So this is how you can see that when you enter the duration then there will be basic type to class type conversion and similarly then there will be another type of conversion you can see here that how many times that firstly object t1 assignment and operator t2 method will be done and at the beginning you when you enter the duration then it will be object t1 overload the assignment. So firstly t1 for hours and then next t for the minutes this is how it is done. Next is conversion from class type to basic type. Now you are doing the vice versa of what you have done. In this type of conversion the source type is the class type and the destination is the basic type. Means class type is to be converted into the basic type now. So the syntax is the operator, the type name and then you can write the logic code here. Now the conversion function must satisfy these following con uh, conditions and those conditions are it must be a class member. It must not specify the return value even though it returns a particular value. So it should not specify the return value in the logic code of program. It must not have an, any argument. So the conversion function should not have any particular argument. For example, we want to assign time in hours and minutes in the form of total time in minutes into one variable one integer variable duration then we can write the type conversion how can we do that we can do that like constructor called with two parameters int a and b so a is for hours and b is for minutes next is the casting operation function how can we do that so it returns that hour into 60 
plus the minutes so user will definitely enter firstly the hours and then the minutes so when that is done that enter the hours will firstly display so we enter 4 hours next is enter the minutes so that is 120 minutes now constructor is called with two parameters that means there are two parameters so now it is going to completely display what it is going to display that the total time in minutes only it is going to display that means if you are entering two values two parameters but it is showing you only the value in minutes complete minute that in 4 hour 120 minutes what is the total calculation of minutes so that is 360. Here you can see that second method operator overloading is also there and class type with the basic type conversion and the total minutes are 360 that means this is how class type is converted into the basic type. Now the next is conversion from one class to the another class type. No basic type is there. You are just converting a class type to the another class type. Now in this type of conversion or type casting, both the type that is source type and the destination type are the class type. Means the source type is of class type and the destination type is also of the other class type. So this particular conversion can be done in many ways with the help of using a constructor and with the help of using a type conversion function also. So constructor as we all know we have declared for hours and minutes also as we have done in the previous programs also and then an object is created get minutes for minutes and similarly for hours and minutes it is displayed. So in the output of the program you can see that hours you have entered and minutes you have entered so the total minutes here showing is 0 now and the hours is 2 and there are 30 minutes and after the calculation it is showing you that there are total 150 minutes. Similarly for using type conversion function how can you do that so you have created a class here and for doing this following example to show how type conversion is used for converging from one class type to the another class type so our first class created here is inventory 1 and it is having i number and the quantity similarly inventory 1 for constructor is also called with three parameters are there in 10 in q and the float r and that is respectively st storing the va variable values in the variable created in the classes so next what it is going to display in the output here you can see that the i number the quantity and the rate are being multiplied and an amount is calculated by multiplying the quantity and the rate of per each quantity so that is in the display method so this is how you can use the particular type conversion function also for displaying the particular class type into another class type for the programs you can refer to the tutorial and for upcoming concepts of object-oriented programming, we will look into further videos. Thank you.